In the last video of our course, we will learn how to export our structural analysis. Before printing the data, we create a print preview by clicking the printout report icon. In the new window, we leave everything as default. Now the preview of the PDF created based on the selected printout report pops up. In the navigator on the left, we can see all chapters and subchapters. In this window, we can also open our cover sheet, the header and footer, and edit the page layout. With the select topics icon, we can also display additional data and results, or delete existing ones. In the load cases and combinations tab, we click combination rules. They are now automatically inserted in the correct place in the printout report. Since we only have one load combination in our example, the printout report is not very large either. For many result combinations, you can delete those that you do not need from the list as shown above and customize the report. To create a report header, we click the define header icon. In the new window, we can adjust all data, logo, and so on, or select another printout report from the library as usual. In the toolbar at the top, there are commands to navigate through the printout report. Every picture displayed in the work window can be integrated into the printout report. The result diagrams of the sections, members, and supports as well as the cross-section details can also be transferred to the report by clicking the print icon of the respective dialog boxes. In the graphic printout window, we first select the printout report where you want to insert the graphic, then size and display. We can select the current graphic, which is exactly what is currently visible in the work window. Or we click Merge to select other results or display types. In the new window, we click the Results tab. and also select the axial forces, shear forces and moments in the Z direction. We can also define the view in this dialog box. After closing the window, we see the results just selected in the printout report at the bottom. Once we have finished adjusting the printout report, we can export it as a PDF. For this, we click on the File menu, Export to PDF. In the Save as dialog box, specify the location and the file name. The Additional Description section allows you to enter notes for the PDF file. Moreover, the PDF file is created with bookmarks that make navigating the digital document easier. Each graphic of the work window can also be printed immediately without having to include it in the printout report. That was the RFEM course for beginners, we hope it was fun, see you in the next class.